In the classroom, we assess students all the time and in all sorts of ways. We gather information that we use for decisions. We notice if a student has a cold or looks sleepy, and that may help us as we teach. Students also use indicators, like teacher feedback or assignment scores, to assess their own progress. Those tools are dynamic when used properly. We've collected some fundamental components of classroom assessment to help you use it effectively. Although good assessment is constantly evolving, understanding these components will help get the most out of your students. There are two distinct types of classroom assessment. Formative assessment provides ongoing feedback to support learning. Summative assessment certifies what students have learned at the end of a unit of study. Most classroom assessment should be formative assessment. Formative assessment is often done quickly, like a short quiz or something even more informal. It can be a ticket out of the door, a discussion, or a piece of written work. It gives a sense of where students are in relation to a learning goal. I think just a five to eight question assessment for the students to work through is good enough to let me know what they need assistance on and what they've already mastered. Formative assessment is not typically graded. Instead, students receive feedback on the criteria for good work. Once they've revised the work and complete the other lessons in the unit, that's the time for a summative assessment. Summative assessment is typically graded, and those grades are reported to students and parents. Understanding the different types of assessment means using them in the most effective way and at the right time. There's no way for me to know what to do tomorrow or even to know what to do in the next 10 minutes if I don't know where they are. If I've lost them in the first five minutes of class and don't know, then the rest of the time is my putting on a show to a bunch of kids that don't understand what the show is about. Too often, when people hear the word assessment, they automatically think of a test. But that's only seeing a small part of a bigger picture. Assessment is not just the act of collecting information. Perhaps more importantly, it's about how teachers and students understand and react to that information. Let's do, let's on Once good on. classroom assessment is integrated into daily practice, it changes the relationship between students and teachers. Ideas become clearer to students. Teachers make classroom decisions with more confidence. Teachers and students communicate with greater efficiency. Just like lesson planning or classroom management, good assessment is simply a part of the act of teaching. School curricula are created using state standards, which contain broad learning goals. Classroom teachers set goals based upon those same standards. Although teachers will have individual approaches and vastly different classrooms, assessments should always be built upon those goals. These goals must be explained to students. They have to know ahead of time what they're doing, so they pay attention to exactly what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, and they know how to filter that information in. Once that understanding is established, it's really important that assessment questions and tasks match the learning goals. Assessments must match both the topic of a learning goal and ask students to do the kind of thinking the goal specifies. I have to come up with um, scaffolding so that I can start from whatever level from the last assessment I know where they are and then scaffold them up to the depth where I need them to be. Students may need to perform a particular task or skill to demonstrate mastery. In order to do that, students need clear, accurate, actionable information. When students know what they are supposed to learn and where they will end up at the end of a unit, that's when they become partners in their own education.
Although assessment data can have many uses, the prime objective is always the same. Classroom assessment should support student learning. Our goal is to maximize student achievement, to expand what they know and can do. If I can know where they are in a progress towards mastery, which is what our relationship is based on, then they're, they're with me and they'll, they'll do anything for you once they know you're on their side. When we think of assessment, we don't immediately think of it as a way to motivate students, but maybe we should. Students who take ownership of their learning will set goals, monitor their progress, reflect, and when necessary, make mid-course corrections. Because they've seen growth and they know they went from a low score to a, an 80 or a 90 or even a 100 on the post test, the kids are ecstatic. To watch them brighten up because they see that they, they are doing it, they are getting better, that's empowering. To, to watch them feel good about what they're doing is, is really neat to watch. That's the power of good classroom assessment. Students grow, they change, they learn and mature. Just like growth, classroom assessment is a process. It supports students and teachers. How those goals are achieved can make each classroom a dynamic place of learning. When everyone knows where we're going and how we'll get there, we know we're on a journey that will end with success.